so we're off to the land of gnomes and fairies for this next beer. Clock and from Brasserie de Chouf, we have a bottle of their Le Chouf Blanche coming in at 6.5% ABV. Now, then, um, Le Chouf Blanche, um, it's basically a Belgian wit beer or white beer, as they call it. Um, if anyone doesn't know about, about um, Le Chouf. Um, they're based out in uh, the Ardennes, all right. Um, they've got a lovely place just up the road from, uh, if you're ever up in Bastogne way, you know, looking at like, like Battle of the Bulge, that sort of thing. They're just up the road from there. Worth a visit. Lovely place, lovely peaceful place with a lovely lake and all that, right. And they actually started in the late 70s, um, which is Pierre Gobron. And Chris um, Brower Arts or Brower Arts, I can't pronounce the name. It's uh, it's one of those. And uh, their first brew was, believe it or not, was in in August 1982. But they they produced 49 liters of beer, and and their hobby just become an international success. They just went on from there, and it is absolutely fantastic. Um, and the gnomes, they just actually. I don't know how they got the story about how they got into the, the, the gnome type of thing, but they just had this passion for gnomes. So that's a little bit about um, Le Chouf. And honestly, if you're ever out in the Ardennes, go and visit the place. It's absolutely stunning. It's a lovely, peaceful place to be. Lovely brewery, lovely little shop there. So without further ado, let's crack this open. Let's get it into a glass. Well, let's give it a review. Um, looking forward to this. Because it's been a nice day in Essex today. And just right for sort of like a beer like this. There we go, the yeasty goodness going in. Look at that. For a lovely pour. On a Le Chouf Blanche, which is a wit beer. So then, um, as you can see, it's a lovely orangey, golden, hazy colour with a beautiful three finger, tight white foam head. Let's get the aromas. Oh. Really floral, sweet. There's banana, there's lemon there. You can smell that there's coriander there and there's a little bit of wheatiness. And that Belgium yeast gives off a sort of bubblegum hue. The sort of bubble gum that you used to get with your football stickers years ago, or football cards, and it used to have that powder on. It was really, really floral. You know, the floral notes of this beer. You know, it smells fresh. Um, I know a lot of people like your, your Hogarten and stuff like that, but I've got to tell you what, this smells a lot better than a Hogarten. It probably tastes a lot better than a Hogarten as well. Fantastic. The smell of this beer is just, you know, if you could have that as an air freshener in your car, you'd be well happy. Sweet citrus notes, bananas, um, coriander, floral, fruitiness. It's just got everything going for it. So without further ado, let's dive in and give it a try. Cheers. There's a banana taste there straight away. Ripened bananas. Then you get the lemon and a little bit of spiciness there. It's really, really refreshing. Um, 
it's a little bit of bitterness from the hops in the middle and then it goes to sweet sort of silky back into this beer this is really really good really really pleasant I actually think this is one of the best Belgian wits out there. Now this is a really, really good example of the Belgian wit, or Belgian blanche, Belgian wit, whatever you want to call it, style. You know, it's, it's totally different to a German wheat beer. You know, I see so many people compare a Belgian white beer, wit beer, blanche beer, whatever you want to call it, to a German wit beer. These are totally two different styles of beer. For one, a Belgian wit is usually um, got more ABV, more alcohol content. And it tends to be more of a, a sharpness, a more refreshingness um, to a Belgian wit with that lemon. You know, even the Dutch produce a good sort of Belgian wit beer as well. You know, they, they seem to get that lemon in there, that zesty lemon to give it a bit of sharpness and a bit of ref uh, refreshness. It's smooth, it's easy drinking, you know. Um, this is the sort of beer, if you've been like traipsing round on a hot day, seeing the sights or up hiking in the Ardennes or something like that, you know, and you're, you know, you're you've got, you've got a thirst quench on, this is the beer to perhaps have, to quench that thirst. You know, I've been I've been in the Ardennes, I've been in Bastogne on a really, really hot day, you know, uh, Malmendy on a really, really hot day, and I must admit, I, um, a wit beer is absolutely fantastic in them circumstances, you know, um, especially in Malmendy, but they've got the little brewery, um, the Brasserie Bellevue, up in the Ardennes. Um, I mean, you have to fly it, you have to fly it for, off beer off from them, and yeah, always go for the wit beer first, have that first. Um, it's a great beer, I love it. There's a little bit of sweet malts there. And I think it's the sweetness of the malts that brings out this sort of, um, this ripened banana type flavor that you get from this beer. It's just, it's just gorgeous. You know, this is a beer to try before you die. You know, if you're into your, your wit beers, your Belgian wits, this is a beer you've got to have. It's got to be on your list. There's no ifs or buts about it. You know, if I was going to score this out of five, it would be a 4.5 out of five all day long. You know, I think this is you know pretty much as good as you're gonna get with a Belgian wit or an example of a Belgian wit it really is so look it's readily available in the UK you can pick these bottles up all over the place in you know, a house of trembling madness um, beer hawk I think and various other places beers of Europe so it's readily available to get hold of this in the UK so look get hold of yourself a bottle try it See what you think, leave me a comment below, especially with the, with the warmer weather turning up. This is an ideal beer to sit back and relax with on a, on a nice hot day. So look, get on the bottle, try it, see what you think, leave me a comment below, let me know what you think. Give me a big thumbs up if you like the review, hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a new one. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. Wow. TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly. Wow.